Yo, what's going on guys? It is time for another reaction video. And this is gonna be from somebody I've never heard before. It is uh, Oliver Anthony. And the song is titled Rich Men North of Rich Mund. Um, I've been seeing this pop up like everywhere on social media, on YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Twitter, pretty much everywhere you can imagine on online. I kept seeing this song pop up, pop up, pop up. And I was like, I'm not going to watch it because I want to do a reaction to it. Um, I kind of have an idea of what it's about just based off of the headlines and things that I was seeing, uh, where I was seeing this song pop up. Um, but I'm going to hold my thoughts until I actually watch it because I want to see um, what it's all about. I want to see what the lyrics have to say and what his message is. So let's jump straight into it. I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay, so I can sit out here and waste my life away, drag back home and drown my troubles away. It's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Man, just that first, it's already like, now I can see why I'm seeing this everywhere. Yeah, I, I mean, I'll probably say more at the end, but um, wow. And, it, and he's just got a powerful voice too. Like, I didn't really know what to expect uh, vocally out of him. And then I see that he's playing, is that a steel guitar? Tell me what kind of guitar that is. Um, but this, yeah, it, it's just, I have a feeling this is gonna be like a, a very strong song, like in regards to the, the, the message and the content. Let's keep going. Living in the new world With an old soul These rich men know the rich men Look out for miners, and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge rounds. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground, cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down. Lord, it's a damn shame what the world's gotten to for people like me, for people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know. you do and then i don't think you know but i know that you do because your dollar ain't shit and it's tax to no hen calls the rich men north of rich men Selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Wow, there's a lot to unpack here. Um, First, let me say this. I always try to keep politics out of my videos because I'm not trying to divide my audience in any way, shape or form. 
Uh, so just keep in mind that these are my own feelings and, and I'm trying to go middle of the road in general here um, because it's never my intention to to uh, offend anybody, you know. Um, we live in a very PC world these days, so it's like no matter what you say, somebody's going to take it and twist it up to, to fit their agenda. So that being said, uh, Richmond, north of Richmond, I can only assume that he's talking about D.C. Um, and D.C. directly relating to politics, right? And the agenda uh, of keeping everybody pushed down, keeping everybody into the system, reliant on the system so that they can continue to manipulate us and do what they want to do. Um, let me also say this real quick, because I know that a big, huge part of my audience is international. Um, I think the U.S. only makes up about 20 to 25 percent uh, on any given day of my audience. So I mean, 75, 80 percent of my audience is outside of the country. So um, but I have a feeling I have a pretty good feeling that uh, similar issues are taking place in y'all's countries as well. Um, the predicament I'm in right now, let, let's get into that, right? So I got laid off on May 18th of this year. And so far I've, I've yet to find em, uh, employment again. It's, it's been very difficult, uh, to find employment. Um, it's been very difficult for me to scrape up money to pay my bills uh, I have no source of income right now. Um, and the, the, the pennies that I make here on YouTube, like really add up to nothing. Like, I, I mean, I'm not making money off of YouTube. So very, very little, like very little, maybe, maybe a hundred bucks if I'm lucky a month. Uh, so my dilemma is this, the economy here in the U S is terrible. It's shit. It's, it's, it's horrible. Inflation is ridiculous. Uh, groceries on average for me, the same exact groceries that I used to buy, because I pretty much buy almost the same thing every time I go to the store, used to cost me on average about $75 to $80. Those same exact groceries are $200 now. Actually, it's even less because some things got so expensive that I had to begin to exclude them um, from my purchase just because I can't, I can't do it anymore, right? So realistically, it'd probably be about $225 for the same groceries that used to cost me $75 just a year or two ago, right? Gas, ridiculously expensive. Uh, cost of living um, rent is expensive, right? And then this is where it relates to me even more directly. For the better part of the last 20 to 22, 23 years, I've been in the mortgage and real estate industry. There was about five or six years somewhere in the middle there that I kind of left the industry and did other things. But collectively, for the most part, I've been in mortgage and real estate. Our interest rates, our interest rates, what, about three years ago, were about 2%, two percent, two and a quarter percent. They're almost at 8% now for a mortgage, right? Meanwhile, the, the, the value of the houses keep shooting up. So when you try to take and get a mortgage, a 30-year mortgage at 8%, no one can afford that. Nobody, right? Maybe, maybe 1% of the, of, the, uh, of the population can afford that. The average person cannot afford that, right? So it's forcing people to rent. And then the rent rates are through the roof as well. So the, where it more directly relates to me is those interest rates are killing the mortgage and real estate industry. Um, the company I was working for uh, over the last like year and a half began to do so poorly that they had to roll under and merge into another company, which is why I got laid off. I got laid off because the company we merged with no longer needed the support staff from the company I was working at. Um, and the jobs that I'm applying to, the jobs that I'm trying to, to get are mostly trying to pay 20 to 30% less than what I was making previously. So they want the same level of work and the same level of commitment for me as an employee, but they want to pay me 20 to 30% less than I was making already. And what I was making was already below the national average of what it used to be just a few years ago. So it's affecting all sorts of industries here in the U.S. The tech companies are laying off into the thousands. Um, you know, the big guys, Amazon, 
uh, Google, Facebook. We all we all know what happened with Twitter with Elon. That's a little bit different story. But in general, there's tons of layoffs here in the U.S. Uh, and our economy is just shit. And I know when our economy is bad that it affects other countries that we do business with as well. So um, I, I see why this song, I see why this song is, is viral. Um, people who are working the blue collar jobs, like he was describing, uh, working full time, working overtime and still getting subpar salaries or, or, or wages. Uh, we just can't afford to keep up with the inflation and the government just keeps spending and spending and spending and spending and spending and taxing and taxing and taxing and taxing and taxing. So it doesn't matter how hard we work. It's like every year we make less instead of more to pay for things that we don't want to pay for policies. We don't want to pay for policies. We do not believe in, um, so yeah, yeah, I just leave it there. It's, it's, uh, it's very, very frustrating. Um, it's very difficult for me right now, financially. Uh, matter of fact, I, I never really ask you guys to do things like this, but if you wanna use the super thanks below and make a donation, um, it helps me a lot. I would really appreciate it. Uh, you can use the link in my video description. It says, buy me a coffee. It's, you can make a one-time donation there if you want. Uh, I don't usually like to do that. I don't usually like to ask people to give me money because I just make content mostly for fun, you know, but, um, but I am, I am struggling right now and I, and I may not really portray it in my videos, uh, because I try to keep that stuff for me, right. To keep it private. But, uh, this song, this song, it hit home, you know, it hit home. And I wish this guy, Oliver, all the success um, we'll see if he takes this and, and turns it into a music career for himself. I don't know anything about his background. I don't know what line of work he's in. I don't know if music's just a side thing for him or if he was pursuing music professionally. I really don't know his story. So uh, if anybody knows any of that stuff, feel free to comment below. But yeah, and I open the comments to you guys. What do you think about this song? What do you think about the lyrics? Um, how are things in your country right now, wherever you're watching? Are y'all going through struggles as well? Uh, and, and how is all of this uh, affecting you guys internationally? So we'll wrap it there. I, like I said before, my intention is not to offend anybody. I'm not trying to divide my audience. Um, I'm just speaking the truth and how I feel right now and how, how the, uh, what's going on right now affects me directly. So yeah, if you like this video, do give it a thumbs up. If you are new here, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, and if you want to see more videos from me, there'll be some playlists at the end. Then I'll see you guys in the next one. Later. <laughs>